Hey guys, welcome to this new video in which I will be reviewing OS X Lion for the Mac, which came out this summer, and it's a great operating system, has its things though. First off, let me tell you about the most notable feature that I love, is uh, if I double tap with two fingers on my magic mouse, I believe that's three on the Apple trackpad, then I can see all of my desktops, I can go to my dashboard, I can swipe through them just like that. I can even swipe right from here. And if I have some applications open, I could open System Preferences, iMovie, um, Google Chrome. I could now take these and put them onto uh, separate desktops. Let me take this, put it over here. And now I can easily scroll through my stuff. I can scroll to Dashboard. I have a few things that I have here, and I can make a new desktop right here, so I can make as many as I want, and I can even open something up, say System Preferences, and drag it onto a new desktop. I can even delete desktops that I don't need anymore by mousing over the edge. And it's just as simple as that. Another thing that I really like here is that you can have full screen apps. And this really takes advantage of the awesome screen real estate that a lot of Apple computers have. You can see we have a little status bar, the, the task bar, whatever you want to call it. It pops down once you move your mouse over it. So uh, that's useful. At first, I kind of didn't like it. It's, it's a little bit hard to pull this up. Same with the dock. You really have to move your mouse around down there but it does come up not sure if the dock wants to come up now guess not so one more thing is uh... if i have this big page here you can see that there is a new scroll bar it's not the same scroll bar uh... it's kind of ios looking ish and when you scroll here uh, you kind of have to wait for it to pop up and you have to move your mouse over to it to get it to work, but I really don't mind. I use the scrolling on my magic mouse. Some people my, may mind because it does disappear. You kind of have to agitate it, but it is a great feature and I think it's a lot sleeker. Another thing is that you, if you over scroll, then you can see kind of beneath the page just like on iOS. Another thing is that scrolling has been reversed in Lion. So the way you would scroll up, you go down, and you can always change that in the preferences. Also, if you scroll sideways, just like iOS, it will go to a different page, so you can go back and forth with one finger. Uh, this does tend to be a problem if I go to uh, something here, let's say I go to my folder where I've backed up my drive and I go to uh, a few things I, I can't swipe back and that kinda really sucks you also can't do it in many other applications such as Google Chrome and that's quite a disappointment and also there's a new kinda menu bar here that really works a lot better than before when you hold your mouse on the application icon another thing that I like if I go to some download page is that if I hit download, uh, a new thing comes up. You can see it's downloading here. It's no longer an annoying window. It's now this very nice pane, and it shows up in your download stack right here, which is a lot better, just way better than before, and I really like it. It's great. Another feature that I really like is if I go to shut down, you can reopen Windows when logging back in. The only thing that I don't like about this is it's not like hibernating in Windows. Uh, the problem is that, say I'm in some application, I'll need to save the file and quit everything to restart it. So it basically, if you're on Safari, reloads the web pages. If you're on some other app, it uh, loads the project that you've saved. It's not like Windows. It doesn't actually resume and that's a big problem because I like to use software the the free trial and it doesn't let me save anything so I really can't do that with it which is a big disappointment another very cool feature of OSX line is versions 
So here I have text edit. I can type in anything like, hi YouTube, hi YouTube. So then I can go to file, save. So now I've saved it and I can type in anything else. And I can go to file, save as version. So it's just like saving it, but you're saving it as another version of the file. And this is command S, so I can type in gibberish, hit command S, and it will save a version. So now what I can do is make a bunch of different changes, and then I'll cut to when I'm done. So now I've changed the file a bunch of times and saved it. So now I can go to file, revert to saved, and you can see I did a little demo here. Maybe you deleted everything and you saved it after deleting everything. That would be a huge problem on a PC. But now I can just go back to any save that I had. I can go back really far. I made a different demo a while ago, so I can go back to the first thing that I did. I can copy the text. I can do anything with it. And now I can hit restore, and it'll restore it back to that. Very, very useful feature. Another really useful feature of OS X Line is autosave. So here I have iMovie, where I am making this video right now. And here I have this video project. If I made any change to this, say I put in my intro over this, and I want to keep it that way, I don't have to save it. I can just close it. I'll go over here to iMovie and hit quit. Now if I open up iMovie again, it will go to this project that I just changed. And here it is, my picture-in-picture -picture saved automatically with iMovie. Really nice feature, especially if uh, anything goes wrong with the power or you accidentally quit something. It's something that I've definitely wanted in a computer for a long time. Okay, so this new feature is really cool, and it makes OS X Lion look a lot like iOS. So you can see you have a launch pad icon on your dock when you install Lion, and if you click it, it'll bring you up to your launch pad. And this is really cool. You can scroll through it easily with your trackpad or your magic mouse just by swiping and it brings iOS to Lion in a really nice way. It's a very nice way to organize all your applications and if you want to go into any application all you have to do is click it and you can go into it. Another cool thing is that you can actually get rid of apps this way. You can hold on an app and press the X button and it's just like iOS. You can make folders too great feature and really cool. There are some big flaws with OS X Line. One of them Apple fixed already. It was that uh, if you watch flash videos after waking up the computer, uh, then it would give you a problem. But here are actually some problems that I have had. So let me open up a window and I'll show you. Uh, I did have a bunch of graphical problems. You can see right here everything from my dashboard got really messed up and it looks terrible. Another thing here, let's take a look at this. My icons at the bottom little things were messed up. There's lots of graphical errors, especially on my drive icons and uh, up at the top of the uh, little pane. I did have tons of graphical uh, annoyances. Let's see if I can find uh, yeah, here's here's an example right here. You can see the icons are messed up. The FaceTime window is messed up. So that's a big problem. Apple needs to fix that. And Line is great. It's a great operating system, but this and the fact that it is a bit slower than Leopard is a problem. So uh, you might want to wait a little bit for Line to become more refined and then jump on the Line bandwagon. So thanks for watching this video. Have a great day and see you later.